Acts chapter 16. Paulo, having selected Sheila, went forth, being commended by the brothers to the grace of the Lord. And he was going through Haram and Gilikia, confirming the assemblies. And he came also to Derbe and to Lustra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timoteo, the son of a Yehudaita woman that believed, but his father was a Hellern. The same was well reported of by the brothers that were at Lustra and Iconion. Him would Paulo have to go forth with him, and he took and circumcised him because of the Yehudim that were in those parts, for they all knew that his father was a Hellern. And as they went on their way through the cities, they delivered them the decrees to keep which had been ordained of the sent ones and olders that were at Yerushalem. So the assemblies were strengthened in the faith and increased in number daily, and they went through the Prugian and Galatikern region, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia, and when they were come over against Musia, they were trying to go into Bitunia, and the spirit of Yeshua permitted them not. And passing by Musia, they came down to Troyad, and the vision appeared to Paulo in the night. There was a Macedon man standing, beseeching him, and saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And when he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go forth into Macedonia, concluding that the God had called us to announce the announcement to them. Setting sail therefore from Troyad, we made a straight course to Samotraike, and the day following to Neapolis, and from thence to Pilipoi, which is a city of Macedonia, the first of the district, a colony of Roma, and we were in this city tarrying certain days. And on the Shabbat day we went forth without the gate by a riverside, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women that were come together. And a certain woman named Ludia, a seller of purple, of the city of Tuatera, one that worshipped the God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened to give heed to the things which were spoken by Paulo. And when she was baptized and her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, Come into my house, and abide there. And she constrained us. And it was as we were going to the place of prayer, that a certain maid, having a spirit of divination, met us, who brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same, following after Paulo and us, cried out, saying, these men are bondservants of the Most High God, who proclaim to you the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. But Paulo, being greatly troubled, 
turned and said to the spirit, I am commanding thee in the name of Yeshua anointed to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. But when her masters saw that the hope of their gain was gone, they laid hold on Paulo and Sheila and dragged them into the marketplace before the rulers. And when they had brought them to the magistrates, they said, These men, being Yehudim, do exceedingly trouble our city and set forth customs which it is not lawful for us to receive or to observe, being Romani. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent their garments off them, and commanded to beat them with rods. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, having charged the jailer to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, cast them into the inner prison, and made their feet fast into the stocks. But about midnight, Paulu and Shehila, praying, were singing hymns to the God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. And the jailer being roused out of sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, drew his sword, and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paulo cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. And he called for lights, and sprang in, and trembling for fear, fell down before Paulo and Shehila, and brought them out, and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Yeshua, and thou shalt be saved, thou and thy house. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him, with all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, he and all his, immediately. And he brought them up into his house, and set food before them, and rejoiced greatly with all his house, having believed the God. And when it was day, the magistrates sent the sergeants, saying, Let those men go. And the jailer reported the words to Paulo, saying, The magistrates have sent so that ye should be released. Now therefore, having come forth, Go ye in peace. But Paulo said to them, Having beaten us publicly, uncondemned men that are Romani, they have cast us into prison, and now they are casting us out in secret? Nay, verily, but let them come themselves and bring us out. And the sergeants reported these words to the magistrates. And they feared when they heard that they were Romani. And they came and besought them, and when they had brought them out, they asked them to go away from the city. And having come out from the prison, they entered into the house of Ludia, and when they had seen the brothers, they comforted them and departed.